Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I have got some incredible announcements this week including AWS App Mesh is now in general availability, Amazon CloudWatch Container Insights is now in preview, Amazon Redshift now supports stored procedures, we had an amazing time at the Stockholm Summit and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me Faye Ellis. AWS App Mesh is now in general availability. And if you haven't heard about App Mesh, it's a really cool service which makes it really easy to monitor and control microservices based applications. And it enables services to communicate with each other as well as controlling network traffic across multiple types of compute infrastructure. And it also configures each service to export monitoring data to make it really easy to locate errors and even reroute network traffic when a failure occurs or when code changes are deployed. And it's compatible with Fargate, EC2, Elastic Container Service and Elastic Kubernetes Service as well. Amazon CloudWatch Container Insights is now in preview and this allows you to monitor, isolate and diagnose your containerized and microservices applications using CloudWatch. So you'll get automated dashboards summarizing the performance and health of your containers running on Kubernetes, including CPU, memory, disk, network utilization, as well as diagnostics such as container restart failures. And all of this is in preview mode right now, but it is available in a number of regions across the world, and it's open to all AWS accounts. Amazon Redshift now supports stored procedures. And if you haven't used Redshift before, it's a really high performance data warehouse, which combines machine learning with massively parallel query execution and super high performance disks. And you can now use your own existing stored procedures to group a set of commands together. For example, data transformation, validation, business specific logic, and then execute them as a single batch of code where previously you would have needed to translate the business logic to another service like Elastic MapReduce before you could actually migrate your data. So this is going to make it so much easier for customers to migrate to Redshift and it's really going to reduce the migration effort for systems that rely really heavily on existing sets of store procedures for their day-to-day -day operation. We had an amazing time at the Stockholm Summit this week. And Ryan and I competed in our very first Deep Racer League. And it's safe to say we've got a lot of room for improvement, but we really had a lot of fun. And it was also really awesome to meet so many of you who came to say hello to us and made the summit really special for us. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was A, and loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Sne Asish Rath and I hope I said that correctly. And he is a system analyst at Tech Mahindra in the Netherlands. So congratulations, there is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker and hand signed card on the way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome Cloud Gurus and I'll see you next time.